Hello, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Um, yeah, we appear, apparently we took some damage on the... If he blows up my tank, I am going to... Nice. Poor Mako. Okay. Shut that thing down. The last time we approached this place and I'm just getting Okay, um, I've actually recorded this episode once already, but, uh, I had a coughing fit during audio dialogue, so, I wasn't going to, uh, subject you guys to that, so. Uh, hmm, okay. I'll figure it out later. Now there should be more stuff over here. Ah, there it is. Fake running. Okay. Don't think we need the stiletto. Cause the um the Russian sounding um names for the uh um weapons are actually some of the best weapons. I mean, that's what I'd, uh, changed my, uh, um, I actually, uh, swapped my Spectre gear for, and there's actually another outpost here, right here, so, I'm gonna park here, we actually don't need the Mako anymore, past this point, but, Him. That's it. Bag him and I seem to be taking. There we go. Yeah, walk right into my uh, line of sight. There you go. I'm sure, all the uh, enemies in this game uh, would do that. <clears throat> Okay, I don't think we need... Now, I knew that there was going to be more... Get out here and... Like I said, the, uh, the next, um, game is going to be a lot, uh, better as far as, um, combat. Like, I should not have, I should not be able to actually sit here and, uh, like I said, I'll figure it out later. Um, I 
I essentially shouldn't be able to just be out in the open here. Okay, I can get rid of this tsunami. And the crossfire. So called and day. Um, so this is, this game is really, uh, wrapping up here, um, very soon. Um, I, I don't really know what the devil to talk about here. Um, the, I mean, this game is by far, I think... I personally enjoy it a lot more than even Mass Effect 2, even though, because the story is involved. Commander, Normandy's touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Okay. Give me a second here. Okay. Uh, There's the Solarian camp. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. That's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. Uh... We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Just drop it. He'll be fine. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. Okay. There's a... I'm concerned about Rex. Can we still trust him? These coming battles frightens me. But I know Saren must be stopped. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Let me see what you have. What little there is. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we've maxed out on our cash. Uh, so, this is a little late for a, uh, um, a license, but. And, of course, because I don't have any electronic skills. The mission will succeed. The captain will not have it any other way. If we fail, no one will hear of this. If we succeed, same result. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. Uh, he's got nothing to say. Oh yeah, the Solarians are the ones that have had those um, odd helmets that look make them look like greys. We better succeed, human. We still feel the toll of the Krogan Rebellion. I am worried that Rex's allegiance to you may be waning. Uh, it cares. It's so annoying. Okay, let's go talk to Rex. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Okay, uh, there's a way to get more, um, um, options than this. And I think this is it. All you need to know is that I'm giving you an order to fall in line. So that's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Okay, uh... Okay, uh, there's an option that's missing here that... I guess I had to have, like, more renegade points. Overall. Um... So we can outright shoot him. Uh, we can attempt to talk him down. Uh, there should be an option that, uh, we signal, um, um, our allies to, uh, shoot him. Um, so, but I think this is as far as, uh, I can get to, um, all the options. So, here we go. These Krogan are slaves of Saren. Puppets. Tools to be used and discarded. Is that what you want for your people? No. We were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Well, I'm glad he saw it our way. Um... This facility is well protected. It must be very important to Saren. What? Huh? With all these defenses, Saren must be hiding something big. 
It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. Nice work with Rex. I didn't think anything would calm him down. Okay, so we can go ahead and speak to Captain Kirihi. Uh, and, uh... Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me, to help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Okay, you've got a choice here. Um... Elenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Um. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Igor, Manovai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back and try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA gun so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. 
Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Starin. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Okay, so... I really wish I knew if he had a high enough decryption. I'll bring these two. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Okay, and with that, I am calling the episode here. Uh, see you guys next time.